You just woke up and it's actually November 9, 2013. What do you do? Tell the Cincinnati Zoo to get better fences for their gorilla enclosure. Spend more time with my dad. Bet on major sporting events. Invest in real estate. Panic because I was taking biochemistry and physics that semester and I don't remember anything. Am I the same age I am now? Are there two of me running around? Oh man, I'm eight months pregnant again. Fuck you buddy. Spend time with my grandfather, since he died November 10th 2013. Kiss my wife. Apologize for every stupid argument we ever had up until that point, and enjoy the next eight years. Do better, spend less time at work, and figure out a way to get them to do a brain scan a lot earlier. Sleep 10 more mins. Buy Bitcoin. Hang on to that 38 Bitcoin I had and sell my house and car and buy all the Bitcoin I can buy. Tell my mom how much she means to me. Get divorced immediately. Race to the computer and delete World of Warcraft. Just saved myself several years of wasted time. Actually focus in school. I mean, I'm smart. But my knowledge of various subjects is surface level. I wish I'd actually applied myself instead of joking around. Get shit done. There are a lot of things in my life I'd wish I'd done earlier or done when I had the opportunity. Hug my dad. Today is the one year anniversary of his passing. Then I'd tell him to start taking aspirin to lower the risk of his stroke and have him checked yearly for cancer. Maybe we could have caught it earlier. Not touch any drugs. Work hard in school. Go to a performing arts college. Hang on to my ex-girlfriend for dear life and marry her. Save my brother, he committed suicide on November 22, 2013. Make better and much trustworthy friends. Get up and get ready for school. Anticipate to see my BF and friends at the morning lunch table. Feel better in knowing I left my dad's house for the afternoon so I don't gotta deal with his BS. Bitcoin. Sleep until 10 in the morning. It was a Saturday. I'm newly married, living in Manhattan on two salaries and no kids dinner reservations, too much to drink and sex with noise. Thank God it was just a nightmare. Look at my wife and tell her how much I love her, ball my eyes out because I'm gazing at her beauty once more and worship every step that she takes. She died on me four months ago after 23 years of being together and having two kids. Wish it was another year so I would still have my daughter. Stop scratching my eczema spots. And especially stop bathing the eczema spots with hot water. Absolutely hell. The itch was unbearable. Jump for joy that I'm not in constant pain. Skip down the road and go for a swim with both arms working properly. Assuming I have my memories, I'd do a lot of things differently in my military career, since I graduated basic training the day before. I'm gonna be a better husband and treat my wife like she deserved to be treated and have a stronger relationship come November 9, 2023. I'm sorry for how I was all those years, I'd give anything to do it all over again. I love you dear. Probably hug my cat. Then go to the funeral home because that was two days after my mother died. Find my friend who died and tell him that he has cancer and to get checked out immediately. Miss you, friend. Rejoice, knowing I can now live my childhood with my newfound knowledge. Try to remember who won the Super Bowl. Having been 15, I guess I'd probably nail my parallel parking on my first driving test instead of having to retake it. Save my dad and best friend from dying. Go have a long talk with my buddy that died from an overdose in March of 2014. Then buy some Bitcoin, Apple, etc. Hug my dad. I lost him last year and I miss him so much. Appreciate the hell out of society because it only always gets worse. BTW I still apply this to now. We're basically living in the 80s right now, 
compared to how awful life will be in a few decades. Big Brother just keeps getting bigger. Bet on NFL, buy Bitcoin, be pissed off I have to repeat things in my life again.